Hello, this is FS Panda Mushroom here with a Farming Simulator 2013 mod review. Today we're doing a Don 1500B version 1 pack. And there you can see in front of you, it is actually a harvester. So we go in the shop and have a look. There you go, Don 1500B. Hopper value, uh, 6,000 litres, uh, maximum power, 173 kilowatt, or 235 horsepower. Maintenance is $160 a day, and it also is a multi-fruit one, which it can harvest wheat, barley, rye, oat, rape, maize, sugar, sugar beet, <laughs> sorry, no, sunflower, soybean, dinkle, millet, mow, hemp, sorghum. Well, I'm not going to do the actual uh, other multi-fruits because I'm on the normal map. So I will just do the normal um, fruits. So I can't tell you whether it actually 100% works for the sunflower and that, but I would say probably. Um, it's, it will cost $95,000 to buy and it comes in the pack with a 6 metre head which is a maintenance of $30 a day and that will do wheat, barley, rye, oat, rape, soybean, dinkle, millet, mow, hemp or sorghum. Mo is um, poppy seed, I think, if I'm correct, and that's fourteen thousand to buy. There's also a nine meter head in it for wheat, barley, rye, oat, rape, soybean, dingle, millet, mo, hemp, sorghum, and that's eighteen thousand five hundred dollars to buy, and maintenance of forty one dollars a day. It's got a corn head which will do maize and sunflower working with 5.6 meters with a $35 a day maintenance and that will cost 13,000. It also has a pick transporter working with 4 meters $18 a day maintenance Application, selection of cereals, tapered rollers. Okay, and that's $12,000 a day. Have a look at that. And we have a PKN1500B with a $20 a day maintenance. And this is a grinder, universal for spreading for combine. We'll look at these in the field, so don't worry about them too much. And that's $14,000 a day. It has a chopper, which is $14 a day maintenance, and $8,000 to buy. It has a harvest stacker, which is $12 a day maintenance, and $9,000 to buy. It has a harvest stacker baler, which is $12 a day maintenance and $9,000 to buy as well. Also in the pack comes uh, front loader forks. I'm not going to buy them. Um, manure grass straw forage mixture. Manure grass straw forage mixture. You know, they're for the wheelman and front loader. So. There you go. And also, which I will buy, there's uh, two trailers, but I'll buy them later. The first one is a 22,000 litre, $12 a day maintenance. Um, it's a trailer for silage, grass, straw collecting for the combine with the adapter of the pun to work with the silage harvester. And that's 11,000 to buy. And the 2PTS 4.5 model 
um, 8,549 is 45,000 litres a day uh, uh, 45,000 litres capacity sorry $13 a day and that's to work with the pawn as well and that's $13,000 to buy okay let's go have a look also the pack comes as a raw file so you will have to un raw it so to speak um, and then in the folder will be several zip files one containing the uh, Don pack um, another for the trailers another one for the front loaders uh, buckets um, there's an alternative tip and a manual ignition mod now I haven't got my other manual ignition mod installed which I should do I suppose but you don't need two manual ignition mods so use the one with this or try them both to see if they conflict I would say there's a possibility they might conflict but I'm not 100% sure so there you go there you go this is the Don um, I did actually look up because I wondered if it was a real machine having a quick look round and yes it is a real machine it is a Russian built um, thresher combine whichever you want to call it um, walking round you can walk through the tires a little bit which uh, you know not too worried but you can't clip through anything in the office so you know he's done it's not the greatest texture um, but he, you know the wheels are nice it's not a bad model there's a bit of rust where rust should be um, if we just have a look inside there's no IC but the dials are uh, done quite nice a bit sparse but Russian stuff was built not for I don't mean to be n nasty they're, they're not built for looks they're built to do a job and they do the job very well so you know so long as it does what it does designed to do then they're happy they don't want all the frills and whistles and you know all things like that okay we just start it up so you can listen to it I mean if you listen to it it's Mm, sounds a bit poorly if you ask me it sounds like it's going to cut out but hey you know and after a while it does start grating you the noise so but hey never mind you got a digital display there got a digital display there just move forward and you see they actually move so you know that's the miles per hour kilometers per hour probably the revs on the left hand side, I would say kilometres per hour on the right. Okay. Just get the to the external. See what I mean? In cab. Quite quiet. Out of cab. It sounds like a bucket of bolts, to be honest. In the speed 13, 13 top speed. Not over key, I'm going to kill someone there, I missed it. Doesn't drive too bad. But, yeah, the sound sort of gets on your nerves a little bit. But, hey. Right, we'll pick the big head up. I 
mean, if you press zero, you've got all information on the left hand, uh, right hand side. You've got the engine start, which is the number. I'll just stop that a minute. Which is uh, enter on the numpad. You've got normal indicators. One. You've not got the two, which is double hazard. You've got three, which is the right hand side. You've got four, which is the door. You've got six, which is the other door. You've got five, which is lights or additional lights. Uh, you've got nine, which is mirrors, but I would say you'd have to be in cab for that one. Yep, actually shows you what's behind. See the tree behind. You got the slash for the window wiper, or you know, and the other two, um, eight and seven and eight, I'll go through later on when we get down to the field. So we just have a quick look through. I mean, the detailing. I mean. Is put you can clip through this a little bit but you can't there. There's wood on the actual uh combine um thresher head and you got it there, which is you know, it's nice. He's thought about some detailing. Um the texture might not be his fault. It might be a giant saw he he just might not be able to quite get the texture in right but you know if we press a, a flashlight it lights up a bit more it is what it is it's a beast it's a beast of a machine to do a job so what we do is we pause it here and we get it down to the field and we put it through its paces okay we'll see you back in a minute okay welcome back uh, here we are I've got some of them where I want them. Um, I just thought I'd show you how to hook things up. I mean, if you look in the back, you can leave it as it is. But, obviously you've got them extra bits. I'll just show you in the shop. You've got the PKN, the chopper, the harvest stacker, harvest stack of paper. They all hook to the back. So there you go. This combine, rather than, you know, pressing the key to change equipment, it's a normal cue and you attach it. This one is a chopper chopper, so that's why it's got a hook on the back and it gives you the two trailers in the pack. So, yeah, hook on. And the trailer is on a pivot bogey, so reversing is fun. And we go and we pick up the bed thing. This one I'm not 100% I'll show you what I think it's used for but I'm probably wrong know me. I say that it, it's 13 miles an hour so it's a long old slog And as you can see, uh, as in the bottom left of the top left, <laughs> uh, it says one combine. I'll explain that in in a little while, because that is um, to do with the 
7 and 8 key in the instructions that they give you or the information panel I should say right as you can see I've had one going because I needed to fill it up so we can show you that it does pipe out and we can empty it I'll get this one onto the other field which has uh, been harvested before so as we approach we'll turn it on normal press B to turn it on and I could be wrong but you know this is picking up the rows you see the nice animation actually and it's actually registering as corn or grain in the actual tank whether that is what it's used for I'm not 100% sure but that's the only use <laughs> I've found for it at the moment I mean, you can play by all means, you'll probably know the right reason for it. But after a couple of passes, you will, you know, exhaust it. But you're actually going over stuff that you've actually combined and it's giving you extra grain. Which, you know, I don't quite understand myself, but it's for flattened down grain, I suppose, when the wind's got it and stuff like that. Okay, what we do is we will change it to the pun. Whichever the pun is, and we'll turn on the pun, which is the back bit. It doesn't say it's a pun in the thing, it says it's a PKT, I think it is, but it's the actual chopper. So this, you now have A forage wagon so if you wanted you could cut straw put this on the back and while you are harvesting if you didn't want your straw you can shoot it into your trailer because it picks it up at the side there you can see the, the belts working you know, on the side you've got the fans working so that's another piece to the kit ok, I'll just turn that one off whoo, I'm deaf, Woohoo! yeah ok, here we are down at the cornfield I'll let my little friend go with his corn on the back here we've got the chopper attachment and the corn head there you go you can just about see the animation on the corn head and as you can see there's a one in this in the top what I do is when he gets to the end if he gets to the end if you press up the O as I said number eight seven and eight says more harvesters, less harvesters. You can see in the top left hand corner one combine. If I press 8 it goes to 2. Press it again it goes to 3. 4 obviously up to 10. Right. If we press 7 let's see if I leave it at 2 goes to turn but then he leaves a combine lane so if you wanted to if you've got two combines running at the same time you can offset them and uh, 
run it again. Obviously he's not going to get because I could have put it to three and it go two two lanes width and then it go on the third. So that's how it works. Basically, it's similar to the uh, hire me mod, whereas you could use up to three things. Um, so you can use up to three things um, on the hire me mod that was. But on this one, you can choose how many lanes to offset. So that's a nice little addition to it. Right, let's jump up. And we'll go, because I've filled that one up there um, on purpose. Because on this, the back of this one, is the uh, straw catcher. So there you go, he's uh, quite happily piping out. He put his pipe up when he got to 80%. Um, don't forget it's only got a 6,000 litre tank so they're going to fill up quite quick. I'll just jump out of him and into him. As you can see, right, on the back of this one, is the straw stacker nice wood panelling on the back actually you know so he's at the moment he's not stacking it so if you press B he stops putting it in a line and starts stacking so it's actually stacking in the back and if you look on the right hand side You've got your grain percentage and your straw percentage. Straws at 55. So we'll let him do his little thing. Because when he gets to 100%, you'll know. Because a thing will come up on the screen and it'll tell you 100%. So we'll jump back into it. So why he's merrily carrying on stacking the straw so obviously you can have it in rows if you want it in rows on like that on the right hand side or you can put the straw stacker on straw stacker Ooh. say that fast and you'll be in trouble ok right it's, and he's got the 6 meter head this is the uh, 9 meter head with the baler on so you can either turn the harvester on manually if you start it up uh -huh. start it up first turn it on you can see the uh, bands going round press B to turn on the straw thing I hired a worker so you can actually see a round bale being made. As you can see in the right hand side it's telling you the, the bale size 18%, 20% you know so as the straw is coming through it's making the bale bigger we we'll just flick around to the front have a look at the animation on the front I mean you've got animation when you, you, you're harvesting and you will he get to his 100% on his bale before his tank fills up let's hope so you can see the bale growing nice animation of bale growing we're at 67% 4,000 so it's going to roughly work out about 6,000 which is in line with the in-game uh, baler here we are getting to 80% remember round bales normally have to press X to open the baler up 
watching, we're at 90%. 95. There you go, he's just released his bale, he's starting another one. Obviously he's put his pipe out because he's full. It's a half decent head on this one. It's a multi-fruit, can bale, you know. May not be the prettiest thing. But you can't knock it for having extra gizmos, so to speak. I think we've got to empty our friend up there again. Because I say it's only 6,000 tank. And uh, yeah, as I said, I um, actually looked to see if the Don 1500B was an actual make, and it is, it's a Russian make. And yes, you can get the uh, straw catcher and a chopper and things like that to attach on the back. It does come like that. You can, after we, he's uh, filled his up, um, just pull away, which he should near be full. Yep, 99%. 100%. Right, he stops. There it goes. Straw, key, control cube, unload. So that's where the alternate tip comes in. There you go. Tip tip. So it's in a nice pile so you can come up with the uh, loader wagons or whatever you want to do he's give you the front loader things as he gets to the end what I'll do is I'll just I'll stop him because I'll uh, disconnect the bag as I said because you can drive it's a bit mucky but I'll just hire it so you can actually see there you go so I'll just so there's the Don 1500B version 1 hope you've enjoyed this mod review this is Panda Mushroom thank you for listening